Welcome to Harvesting Clouds, where we take a practical approach to learning and leveraging clouds. In this video, we'll be checking what hybrid workers are and how to configure them. Let's start with visiting some of the theoretical concepts about hybrid worker. A hybrid worker is a server which exists in Azure or AWS or on-premises. It could be a VM or a physical server on-premises. This hybrid worker provides hybrid management of resources. You can manage resources in Azure out of the box. With hybrid worker, you can manage resources in AWS or on-premises or in a different subscription as well. A hybrid worker always belongs to a hybrid worker group. A hybrid worker group can have multiple hybrid workers. Each of these hybrid worker will be an individual server in itself. Instead of running the runbooks in Azure, you can specify them to run on a hybrid worker. You specify that a runbook will be run in a particular hybrid worker group. The underlying hybrid worker is automatically decided by the automation engine. What are the minimum requirements for this hybrid worker server? You need to have a Windows Server 2012 or later. You need to have PowerShell 4.0 installed on this server. The server needs to have at least two cores and four GB of RAM. It is recommended that you always designate multiple hybrid workers in each of the hybrid worker group for high availability. Also consider using a computer that is physically located in or near the region of your automation account. From architecture perspective, this is how the high level architecture of hybrid runbook worker looks like. On the right hand side, these are all the resources related to automation account in Azure. Within the Azure automation account, you have runbooks, which work against various Azure resources. The runbooks belong to the automation solution under OMS workspace. And there are other DSC configurations within the Azure automation account as well. Now, a hybrid runbook worker is a server that sits locally inside your on-premises data center or in AWS. And through this hybrid runbook worker, you can access all your local resources on the network. Lastly, the workflow to configure a hybrid worker looks like this. First of all, you need to have an OMS workspace in place to be able to configure the hybrid worker. Second, you should, be, you should already have deployed an automation solution inside that workspace. Third, you need to install an agent, the MMA Microsoft Monitoring Agent on the target server. Lastly, you will configure the target server by using the PowerShell commandlets that are deployed when you install the MMA agent on the server. Now let's jump into the Azure portal and see this workflow in action. I'll start by navigating to the automation accounts and selecting the automation account that we created earlier. And then navigating to the process automation category and selecting the hybrid worker groups. To configure a new hybrid worker, I'll start by clicking on plus configure. This gives me the description of all the steps that we just saw in the, works, in the workflow. Here you see two high level steps. The first step being setting up your operations management suite workspace, which includes three sub steps. First, creating the Azure Operational Insights workspace, which is now Log Analytics workspace. Second, deploying the automation solution in the workspace. Third, installing the MMA agent inside the server which you want to configure as hybrid worker. And finally, step two, which is configuration of the on-premises machine. During the configuration, we'll need a couple of items. These items are located under the account settings for your Azure automation account under keys section. Be aware that you should not be sharing these information with anyone. This is the confidential information related to your automation account. Using this information, anybody can have programmatic access to your automation account. I'll copy the URL 
as well as one of the key So if you remember from the workflow, the first step was configuring an OMS workspace. I'll navigate to more services and then search for log analytics. I already have a workspace configured in here. If you do not, then you can go ahead and click on add button and add a new workspace. Once the new workspace is created for you, you can navigate to the OMS portal by clicking on this particular icon or the icon for OMS portal at up top. A new tab will automatically be opened for you and the OMS portal will be loaded for you. Once this portal is loaded, we'll jump on to the next step that is the second step from the workflow, which is to add the automation solution in Microsoft Operations Management Suite. To do that, I'll click on the gallery icon on the left hand side in my OMS Log Analytics workspace. And once all the solutions are loaded, I'll locate the solution that we are interested in related to automation. So this is the latest name of the solution, Automation Hybrid Worker. This says that I already own it if you don't own the solution, by clicking on this, you will get the option to add the solution to your workspace. Now that I already own the solution, instead of the add button, I see view and remove buttons. I'll click on the view button and this gives me the option and instructions on how to add the hybrid worker, how to configure my on-premises server as hybrid worker. It instructs that I need to import a particular module which will be located at the path specified above. After I have imported the module, then all I need to do is run the add hybrid worker, add hybrid runbook worker commandlet. The parameter that this commandlet will take are a URL, key, and a group name. We already saw from where we can get the URL as well as the key. The key could be anything, the primary key or the secondary key. Group name can be anything. This group name will be either a new name for a new hybrid worker group. The server on which we will run this particular commandlet will become one hybrid worker under that group. If you already have a hybrid worker group, then you specify the name of the existing group and the current server on which you will run this commandlet will become a part of that particular hybrid worker group. The next step is to install the o OMS MMA agent on the server. You can do that by going to the settings, by clicking on this gear icon at upright, and then navigating to connected sources. Over here, you will see the option to download the Windows agent for 64-bit OS as well as for the 32-bit OS. I have already installed the MMA agent in one of the computer. I'll navigate to that server I have also imported the modules as required. I'll run the add hybrid runbook worker on this particular server. I'll provide the URL that I have already copied. I'll also provide the key that I have also copied from my automation account. And then I'll provide the group name. I'll hit enter to add this particular server as a hybrid worker inside the hybrid worker group that the name of which I have just specified. This will be a new hybrid worker group in Azure. I'll navigate to the Azure portal my workspace is registered to a different automation account and the values I used were for that particular automation account. I'll navigate to that particular automation account and will navigate to hybrid worker groups. As you can see, we can find worker demo group 01, which was the 
group we just created. You can navigate to this by clicking on the name and over here you can see the hybrid workers. You can navigate to the hybrid workers by clicking on the left hand side or by clicking on the tile in the middle. The VM that we were just using is listed as a worker inside this particular hybrid worker group. Now let's navigate to the runbooks. I have already created a runbook named get hostname. I'll navigate to the edit view of this particular runbook. The runbook is very simple. All it does is run the hostname command wherever this particular runbook runs and then tries to output that particular hostname. I'll try to add the text hostname is in front of the actual hostname. I'll save this particular runbook and publish the runbook. Now when I click on start, it will ask me whether I want to run this particular runbook on Azure or on a hybrid worker. First of all, I'll run this particular runbook on Azure. Now as I said earlier, in Azure, the underlying infrastructure is not in our control. So the hostname command will not run when we try to run this inside Azure. We'll get an error and that error will say that the command is not recognized because this command or any other command which tries to interfere with the underlying infrastructure are blocked by Azure. We see that the job status is completed. If I go and try to look in the output, it says hostname is and then there is no output. I'll go and check all the logs. I see an error. And if I navigate to that error, it says that the term hostname is not recognized as the name of a commandlet, function, script, or file. Next, I'll trigger the execution of the runbook again, but this time I'll select the hybrid worker. I'll select the worker group and as I said earlier, Azure Automation Engine will automatically decide which hybrid worker to pick from the hybrid worker group. In our case, we only have one hybrid worker inside the hybrid worker group. I'll hit OK to submit the job. The job is created and this time we control the underlying infrastructure where the automation runbook is executing. So this time, once the job status reach is completed, we will be able to see the actual hostname of this particular runbook. It says hostname is the plus sign and then the name of the hostname, which is the name of the VM where we have installed the hybrid worker. I can also view all the logs and see that there are no errors this time when I executed the runbook against a hybrid worker. That's all about this particular video. We saw how we can configure the hybrid worker. This hybrid worker can exist in Azure or on AWS environment, in your on-premise environment, or can exist virtually anywhere in the world. This gives you capability to hybrid manage your complete infrastructure. No matter where your infrastructure is, you can automate tasks against your infrastructure, leveraging the hybrid worker capabilities provided from Azure Automation. That's all for this video. Thanks for tuning in.